I want to share with y'all a letter that I got that was just the sweetest, sweetest, most thoughtful thing. So, um, it starts off, my name is Derek Cook. I'm 32 years old, and I live in Newburgh, New York. And then in parentheses, I'm what you may call a Yankee. <laughs> You're a Yankee doodle dandy. <laughs> well, Derek says he started watching my show years ago on that network, and he said he's been watching my videos since 2020 when I started shooting them. And he said it just brings up so many memories of him and his grandmother. And you would not believe how often I hear that. Uh, a lot of young people, you know, 18 to 30 years old or 12, actually 12 to 30 years old, will come to my book signings and they say, I watched you every day along with my grandmother. So, and that just thrills me. That just thrills me that these children spent quality time with their grandmother. And um, so Derek goes on to say, I call her Mum Mum. And almost every Saturday, we would cook a lot of your recipes. We would especially make the shrimp and scallop lasagna, and it's so good. We used to serve that on the buffet at the restaurant. I would like to share a recipe with you that my grandmother would make, and it is called a Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie. Here is the recipe. Derek, that is so sweet of you. And he knew that I probably couldn't find the noodles that his grandmother used. So he sent me the noodles that I need. And he told me that I could find them on Amazon. So I'll be ordering some noodles from Amazon. So um, let's see, one whole chicken pre-cut or we just cook the whole chicken so um and he likes to use chicken thighs too uh four to five red potatoes one bag of pennsylvania dutch egg noodles or any square noodle i included them in the package i sent you can find the type i sent you on amazon salt and pepper to taste so you cook your chicken in a large stock pot and you cover the chicken with water and you bring it almost to a bowl and then turn the heat down to simmer and Derek said to simmer it for one and a half hours that's one hour and 30 minutes and then he said take the chicken pieces out of the pot with a slotted spoon and put the pieces into a bowl and let it cool do not dump the water because that's your good old stock uh, Bring the potatoes to a bowl and then turn down the heat and let them simmer for about 30 minutes. Well, these are really small potatoes, so they, they won't take quite that long. And before the 30 minutes are up, check the potatoes to see if they're tender. Add the noodles to the pot and cook them for 20 minutes. Before the noodles are done cooking, add the chicken back to the pot, season it with salt and pepper as needed. And um, Derek goes on to say, thank you, Paula, for taking the time to read this. And thank you for taking the time to cook my grandmama's mom Pennsylvania Dutch chicken pot pie. Derek, this letter just touched me. I, I, I couldn't even tell you how much it touched me for you to take the time and share some of your memories with me and with others and even send me the noodles so you know I had to cook it. And I can't wait to taste it. What a sweet, sweet letter. Okay, y'all, our chicken is out, and it's been taken off the bone. Now I'm going to add some beautiful potatoes and let them cook for a minute. They It calls for like four to five potatoes, so you can put as many or as uh, few as you want. All right, so Eddie, here we go. I turned it back to high. Gonna get that to boiling and then we'll cut it down and look at our chicken. Our chicken looks so so good. 
you know what this piece is called? Do you know what it is, Eddie? No. This is a plug from the back of the chicken, and it's called the oyster. The oyster, the chicken oyster. And it's so good. It's so tender. And if you're picking a chicken and you um, have the back to it, you'll see that plug of oyster. <laughs> Okay, come on, taters, let's boil. Okay, I think our potatoes are tender now. Um, I can poke one with a fork. They need a few more minutes. Like I said, it won't take them too long. So I'm going to give them a few more minutes. No, I'm not. I think they're done enough, Eddie, by the time the noodles cook in 20 minutes. Those potatoes are going to be done. So in goes uh, Ms. Miller's extra wide, old-fashioned noodles. They look good. They, Don't I'm, they look delicious? So throw in just a handful of fresh parsley, you know, to just give it a little color. Come on with those wonderful potatoes. And now I'm just going to... I'll use all the chicken, but because we cooked a whole, a whole chicken, so. I think this is more than, uh, than, uh, you know, what some thighs would be. You know what I'm talking about, Eddie? Yes. So. Hey, Derek, it's looking good. I'm just gonna gonna put the lid back on this. Ouch! That means fire, and fire is hot, Paula. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put the lid back on this, and and uh, oops, the lid's still hot. And just let that meat heat back up, and then it's going to be ready to eat. But I have to tell you, Derek, you call this your grandma, mum, mum's um, chicken pot pie. To me, it resembles what we know as chicken and dumplings a lot. So it's going to be good. I can't wait to taste it. Okay, Derek. <laughs> Let me move this up here so you can see it. Now, I don't know if you need more stock in it, Jerry. I just don't know. Because, you know, you say cover the chicken. Now, I wouldn't be me, Derek, if I didn't do one little thing different or add one little thing different so I'm going to add a little butter because I like my noodles with butter so y'all certainly don't have to do this Derek didn't tell me to do it the devil told me to do it <laughs> you know <laughs> let me shut wait I guess I'll be right back y'all don't go anywhere Aunt Peggy gave this to me years ago, and uh, somebody did this in 1976. And I don't know if Aunt Peggy may have bought it at a yard sale, because, you know, she's a yard sale nut. <laughs> so, uh oh, uh oh, get back up there. So sometimes the devil makes me do stuff. But you know what? Oh, forget it. <laughs> devil don't live in this house. Oh. What was I going to say? I don't know. I'm ready to eat. That, that looks I know. so good. <laughs> that looks like comfort food. It does look like comfort food. I would say Yankee comfort food, wouldn't you, Eddie? Oh, well. It's... Since you're, this looks like something that would have been in y'all's kitchen, right? Something like it. Something, I don't know. We've never made anything quite like that. But, I mean, this looks like dumplings to me. I know. I can't wait to try it. looks like chicken and dumplings. So I'm going to reach in there and get me some dumplings and a little piece of that butter. Oh, so I know what I was going to say. 
just a tiny piece of butter. Uh, you know, people ask me all the time, Paula, you're not still eating butter, are you? I said, absolutely. I will always eat butter. You know, it's that other one. God made the butter. Well, God made the cow and the cow made the butter. But that other out there, that's man-made. So I do like to stick with what God made. So look at that. Steamy hot. And what a bonus. Potato and pasta all in one bite. <laughs> I might be in heaven, dear. Mm. It looks so good. I mean, this is so comforting looking, Eddie, just looking in that pot. Um, makes you say, oh, mama's, mama's somewhere close by. The dumplings kind of eat like a, like a homemade pasta to me. That's so good. Derek, I thank you so much. Eddie is tortured. So she's hungry. So I'm going to sign off and tell y'all love and best dishes and dip up Eddie a bowl. <laughs> y'all it's Paula Dean. Now if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes y'all.